This is 5 News at 5. The death toll in Israel climbed to at least 900 after this weekend's violent incursion by Hamas militants. Thanks for joining us. I'm Darren Bob. And I'm Alexandra Burnley. Israel ordered a complete siege of the Gaza Strip where civilians and soldiers are being held hostage. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says what happens next will reverberate for generations. U.S. announced a number of Americans were killed in the violence and some are still unaccounted for. Skylar Henry now has the latest from D.C. Israel says it has largely regained control of its border communities as it pounds the Gaza Strip with retaliatory strikes for Saturday's bloody attack. Israel's defense minister says no food, water or fuel will be allowed into Gaza, where Hamas is holding dozens of hostages, by some estimates more than 100, and is threatening to begin executions. Among the captives is an 85-year-old grandmother who was paraded through the streets of Gaza. I'm sure she's uh, very scared, and I'm sure she feels very alone. The U.S. State Department now believes Americans may be among the hostages. Just given the sheer numbers involved, we do expect that there may well be Americans uh, who have been caught up in, in the hostage taking as well. In addition to those missing, U.S. officials confirm at least 11 American citizens were killed in the attack. President Biden said all countries must stand united against the atrocities. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham says Iran was complicit and that Israel must strike back. No more proportional response. The goal of the Israeli military should be to destroy Hamas in Gaza. America's most advanced aircraft carrier is moving towards the region as Israel confronts shock and grief. This man was at a music festival where more than 100 died. They didn't care if you are a man or a woman, you are young or old man. They are killers, they are murderers. What they did is never been, can be forgiven. Even as the death toll in Gaza rises into the hundreds, Hamas continues firing rockets over the border. And Israel called up hundreds of thousands of reservists, preparing for the next stage of war. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. The European Union originally said it was suspending the money that goes to a development program for Palestinians after the attacks, but now says it actually isn't at the moment as it reviews how that money was spent. Just shoot everyone because you hate Jews. We feel like it's the Holocaust all over again. Israel is calling up troops by the thousands with reservists determined to protect their nation and defeat Hamas. About 300,000 reservists, in fact, have been called up since Hamas launched its unprecedented attack over the weekend. Hamas says its attack was necessary to end a 16-year blockade of Gaza and to stop Israelis' brutal treatment of Palestinians in the occupied West Bank. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel's retaliation against the militant group has only just begun.